Hello everyone, my name is Daniela Di Gianantonio and I am the team leader for digital agriculture at the FIO Regional Office for Europe and Central Asia. The team is on a very exciting mission, which is to accelerate the uptake of digital technologies in the agriculture sector and in rural areas. I am originally Italian, but I lived in several countries across the globe. I am now living in Budapest, Hungary, where the regional office is located. Let me bring the example of our recent day. It started with a meeting with Turkmenistan's Ministry of Agriculture to discuss their priorities and possible entry points for digitalization. It continued with Uzbekistan, as we are currently supporting the government with the development of a national digital agriculture strategy. And then with Armenia, as we are supporting the introduction of a wine registry system. The day finished with a meeting with Albania, which is currently piloting the DVI readiness assessment tool to identify villages that have the potential to enter the FAO Digital Village Initiative program, which aims at revitalizing villages and rural areas thanks to the opportunities brought by technologies. The beginning of my journey within ICT was completely unintentional. I was a master's student in economics in Denmark and I was looking for a job just to support my studies while writing my thesis. And I came across this job post from a software as a service company, something I hadn't even heard before, but I applied. They hired me and I remember walking to the office on my first day thinking, okay, this is just going to be for four months, just while I write my thesis. This is not a job for me. This is about technology. What do I have to do with this? Ends up that I stayed with the company for four years and definitely not because I couldn't find another job, but because I found actually purpose in what I was doing. The company was developing technology solutions for people with disabilities and uh, I found a mission and I set that mission to be to empower all people, thanks to technology, to achieve more. And so here I am, 10 years later, still working in ICT. Actually, I would like to pass a message to all girls, and especially the ones that are not interested in ICTs. Technology is not just for software developers. It is not just about writing algorithms. It needs a whole bunch of profiles from people good at communication to people good at project management to good people managers. So give it a chance. Technology might empower your career as it did with mine.